Controversy in Danville. Funeral home directors are upset over a proposal to end police escorts for processions in the city. Hey, the police chief presented the plan to city council just last night. WSLS 10's Coulter Anstead is live outside the Danville Police Department tonight. So Coulter, you spoke to both sides today. Uh, the chief's argument is that the department doesn't basically have the manpower and this is uh, this is putting too much of uh, an effort into the in the situation for the police. What, what's the other side have to say? Yeah, as you mentioned, John, the police uh, chief's argument is that the department does not have the manpower and providing funeral escort services has become too dangerous. Funeral directors, though, say not having police escorts for funeral processions would create too much of a liability and funeral uh, funeral homes rather would likely have to stop having funeral processions and rather just tell people to meet up at the gravesite. The chief has proposed to tentatively end the police escort services on August 1st. The Danville Police Department is currently short 17 officers. According to the police chief, that makes responding to calls difficult if officers are tied up escorting a funeral procession. It does impact uh, productivity and, and our uh, ability to uh, uh, police the city as we're required. At last night's council meeting, the chief gave a presentation to council members. He said the department provides escorts for an average of 320 funerals a year, and each escort ties up the officers for about an hour and 15 minutes. He also believes funeral processions have become increasingly dangerous for everyone involved, including the officers. I'm really worried uh, about the uh, folks in the procession. Um, people see the marked police car coming, they see the blue lights, uh, and they know what that is, and that does uh, provide a, uh, a, a exceptional degree of safety for the officer. Town's funeral home owner, David Fuquai, has seen this himself, but does not support the chief's proposal. He said the chief met with local funeral home directors last week, and they all expressed opposition. We're concerned about uh, the funeral home's liability should we decide to continue with unescorted funeral processions. Funeral homes would likely no longer have funeral processions and instead tell people to meet at the graveside at a certain time. The hearse and the limousines would probably go together. Everybody else would go on their own. The police chief has not officially decided yet, though, if the department will stop providing escorts. At last night's council meeting, council asked the police chief to potentially postpone his August 1st uh, proposed end date for the funeral escort services, and he did agree no uh, new tentative end date has been set yet. Live in Danville, Colter Anstat, WSLS 10.